All right, Harrison and Clayton, tonight is all about you guys, the last goodbye world premiere. How are you guys feeling? Excited. I mean, this has been in the making for, honestly, 10 years, because when we first were forming, the person who introduced us is the director of this film. So they've always had a camera, we've always been working on stuff, and they've kind of been in the background filming us since our very first show. So we've always had this footage, and he's always been a big part of our team, and it's been kind of in the background of like, do we do something with all this footage? And then as the show started to progress, it really felt like this was the moment that we could actually yeah. really showcase the thing that we're really excited about. We've, and uh, we've failed enough, so now we can actually put it on film, so. <laughs> now, like you guys said, 10 years of unreleased footage. I mean, why now? Why? What made you guys kind of look at each other and be like, all right, this is it, let's do it? We've, we've actually tried filming the show different times throughout our career, and it never felt like it captured the real moment we were trying to create. And this was the first time it actually felt like we got those pieces. So after we started moving on from that moment of like, okay, this is working, then we were like, okay, how do we make this more interesting? And building like a narrative arc and explaining our story made more sense than just being a straight concert film. You know? Well, it's the hometown show at Climate Pledge. Like that energy is pretty unmatched. So we felt it's a perfect one to really let people see. Yeah, talking about that hometown show, Seattle, okay, yeah. so, I mean, you were saying you guys never had that, you know, it was never the right show. So what made this show the right one? Was it the design? Was it the songs? Tell me about that. Why were you guys like, okay, this yeah. is what we're going to move forward with? Well, I think over the years, we've tried a bunch of different things. Some things work, some things don't. This last round uh, for The Last Goodbye, we felt like it's in a really good spot. We were really proud of it. And it felt like the right energy, hometown crowd to film it, get it done, and just show everybody. So I think we're really happy with how it turned out. And a uh, big shout out to Sean, the director, for everything he's done, so. Why did you guys decide to only do one day for this cinematic experience? That's all they let us do. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just wanted to make it like an exciting thing, you know? I think if it was a whole week of shows, it wouldn't feel quite as like communal. It feels like a day to, to celebrate it. And uh, it just seemed like an exciting idea for us. Now, what are you guys most excited for people to see through this project? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh, man. I think uh, some of the drumline choreography up close, like this, you really get in-depth on some of these shots. Uh, and they spend so much time dialing all that in behind the scenes. So this allows the viewer to really kind of unpack that and see behind the scenes them rehearsing, as well as the brass rehearsing, like every every little piece coming together in a very unique way. So uh, that, which you, you know, you couldn't get even at a concert. So I think that's what makes it special. I mean, I would be so silly not to bring up the drum line, but wow, every show I'm just like mesmerized, but why the drum line in your guys' shows? Uh, we've always had like a real percussive backbone in our yeah. productions and drums are just an exciting thing to us. And when you're watching a show, it's hard to translate what you're doing on stage all the time, especially in electronic music. And it felt like drums were just like such a powerful thing that you really see what's happening and you know like the sound that's coming from is coming from those drums and it's just like a really visceral experience, I think, live. And it just adds a lot of impact and like fun. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a force to be reckoned with when they're all wailing on that stuff. So it's it's uh it's something really powerful that I don't think you can get through any other real means of, of music. So. Absolutely, I'm such a fan of it. But the name Odessa, where does that come from? <laughs> well, the truth is, like our Wikipedia is wrong. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the name came from when, at the time when we were first working on music, we were inspired by a lot of different artists. And it was a lot of like this indie left of center electronic music. So it was like Bonobo, Caribou, Boards of Canada. And uh, there was this Caribou song called Odessa that we really loved. And it felt like it was kind of like a guiding light for us at the beginning of this is kind of like the world we want to live in. And uh, at the time we looked up uh, and there was a hardcore metal band called Odessa. So we had to put a Z in it to so just change it up. Z That's the truth. Now it's Googleable. So. Oh, I love that. That's a good story. You got to update the wiki page, okay? Well, they, won't they won't let us. us. They, they keep changing. We it, need so. to donate more, I think. There you go. Now, do you guys have a dream collab? Uh, we have many, many. Yeah. Uh, I think the truth is like, you can have a dream collab in your head of who would you would love to work with, but it's really about like who's going to work best with you. Right. Like they 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 need to want it too. It can't be like one sided. So there's definitely people we'd love to work with, but it's more about like the energy in the room and what happens in that yeah. moment. So 
And that's, yeah. and that's why we use like a lot of our singers and stuff are relatively, you know, newcomers to the scene. So we find people that we can kind of really find some chemistry with. And you know, there's no egos involved. And usually we try to push singers outside their comfort zones and they do the same to us. So right. if that's not reciprocal, um, you know, the chemistry's not there. So right. I think we really try to find that balance. Last question here for you guys, but you guys are hot right now. New movie, new shows, new music. What's next? What do you want the fans to be staying tuned for? Uh, new EP coming out next month, which we're very excited about. Uh, some headlining festival slots, and then a little surprise next year that I'm not going to spoil right now, as well as some more shows. So. <laughs> we'll be staying tuned. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Thank you so Appreciate much. It.